Hello everyone and welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm teacher Casey and today I'm going to be answering a question that has been asked multiple times. I had to do a little bit of research first because it has changed since I used to go live. This is using Zoom to Facebook without making a scheduled event and things, okay? So the tricky part is when I'm in Zoom, I can't really share my screen. So I have my phone set up here. So I can show you what's going on in Zoom at the time. But the first thing I'm going to show you is to set up your Facebook to be able to do it. Okay, so let me go to Facebook, I'll share my screen, and I apologize in advance. I do have my lip keeps hurting, but this is important. I wanted to show you. So, all right, you are in my teacher's mastermind, your online business. The first thing you need to do is scroll down to group settings. Now scroll down again under the heading manage advanced settings. You're going to click, click apps. Now you want to add your apps and I'm going to go in here and you see there's tons of apps. Instead of going through all of them, I'm just going to start typing zoom or type the whole thing and you see zoom video live stream. I'm going to add it. Okay. Now I've added Zoom, so now I should be able to use it. <laughs> I'm going to stop my screen share because you won't be able to see it anyway. And then hopefully from my phone, you'll be able to see me go through Zoom. I'm going to go live on Facebook. And then it's gonna ask me some questions. What am I going to call it? I'm going to call it a test. So you might have a meeting and you might title the meeting to something. I don't know, three ways to grow your online teaching business or something. And then in the description, you would tell what the meeting is for or about. So testing Zoom to Facebook, okay? You can share on your own timeline or you can share to a group. I'm gonna look for my group and hopefully Teachers, mastermind, your online business is there. And now I'm going to go live. And it's preparing to live stream. It's notifying people that I'm going live. So hopefully no one jumps on. If they do, I'll just explain it's a test. Um, and now it's redirecting me to my group. All right. Here's the live. <laughs> so it's probably looking a little bit different. So, so hopefully no one jumps on. If they do, I'll just explain as a test. Probably looking a little so, bit different. I am live here. Um, not showing both, but I am live. It's kind of confusing now that I've got my phone going and everything. Um, I don't see anybody on this live right now. But um, just so everyone knows, I am doing a video and I am trying to show how to go live on Facebook through Zoom without making a, um, without making a whole scheduled event and things, okay? So when I am on, um, you can't tell, but I don't leave my Facebook up. I usually go back to my Zoom so that I can watch myself and see if I need to show anything. I can see it in the camera and all that. So I'm sure you see it now through my phone. That's why my phone is here. Um, I do go to the Facebook usually um, and I mute myself and um, you can see comments coming up. If anybody is here, I do see one person is here. If you're here, just say hello, please. I'm trying to show how it works. Um, but guys, that's about it. I just wanted to show you a quick tutorial on how to connect Facebook to your Zoom without making a big event and everything. So super easy, super fast. Just remember to go into Facebook and check that little go to apps and add Zoom. Don't forget that when you're in Zoom, you need to go and check the boxes, which I showed on one of my videos previously. So, all right, everyone, if you have any questions, please put them below this video and I'll see you all next time. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. 
and have an awesome day. Bye everybody.